Welcome to Manisonelli's Math Lab. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Not a requested video, but I did want to cover this. Because um, I want to cover how to use your BA2 plus to calculate particular values involved in the price of a bond. So let me continue with this example. We're given an end year bond, and we're given that its redemption value, which we denote as C, is 1890. The effective interest rate is 0.06. This is annually. Uh, coupons are paid annually. And by the way, the coupon rate is always annual, but it may be paid at a time other than annual. So be careful with that sort of situation. But here, coupons, not only is the coupon rate annual, but it is paid annually. Okay, keep that in mind. So uh, what I'm thinking about here is that I have a coupon payment. Remember, uh, F is the face value. R is the coupon rate. So I have these coupons paid, right? They're paid annually. So one, two, three, all these are my coupon payments. And actually they even pay them uh, up to here, up to here, plus C, which is 1890. So this is sort of the situation I have with regards to my bond. All these coupon payments are made and at the end, um, the owner of the bond pays me back 1890 right or let's see the provider of the bond right all right anyways anyways here's what we also are given we're given that the book value is 1254.87 this is basically just saying what is the bond worth after I've paid three coupon payments so uh, the three coupon payments are made, and then this is the value afterwards. After the fourth coupon payment, it's 1277.38. We should be thinking here is that this is a write-up. And you could go this direction, actually, using the write-up formula, but it's also not really needed. Because it's a write-up, you should ask yourself, one of the things you need to know about bonds is, are they purchased at a discount, or are they purchased at a premium? <clears throat> This must be purchased at a discount because I have a write-up. The redemption value is 1890. The book value is increasing, must be a write-up. <clears throat> what is the relationship between the book value in year three and the book value in year four? Well, the only difference here is that at year three, it's valued at 1254.87. It accumulates, and then I make another coupon payment, and now this is its value. Let me write down what I just said in symbol. The book value at year three accumulates um, and it accumulates actually at this effective rate 1.06 it accumulates for one year and then it's I pay a coupon I don't know what the actual coupon is I'll call it FR F is the face value R is the coupon rate and then that's equal to well whatever is equal to the book value at year four which is 1277.38 1277.38 Three, eight. Get FR by itself, just some annoying algebra. And uh, what you should get is that the coupons, so this is actually literally the coupon value is 52.78. So literally, these are the coupons paid, right? Face value times the coupon rate. Those are the coupons paid. Now, what I want to get at here is what is N? N is what we want. N is what we want, and I was just thinking, there's just so many, there's different ways to do this, but um, here's one way to do it. Okay, I want to find N. I need to write that down. Damn it. We need to find N. Let's do it. You could do this algebraically, or you could just do this using the BA2+. plus. Let's write down an equation for finding N. Okay, so we know, so then... We have the following, 1254.87 is equal to, the book value uh, after the third coupon payment is equal to the coupon paid FR times the present value of an annuity with N minus three periods, right? Because I've taken away these three. So I'm just thinking prospectively, what is left over prospectively? Okay, there are n minus three uh, payments left. 
plus the redemption value, which is 1890, v to the n minus 3. So we need to find n. And you could do this algebraically, but what's the point? We're just on the BA2 plus. On the BA2 plus, how does this work? I'm going to go from left to right. Okay, so <clears throat> here are the keystrokes. We're going to do 12, 5, 4.87. This is actually my present value, so PV. Now I'm going to do the payment. Think of this as the payment. So I'm going to do 52.78, and I need to make this a minus. So I'll do the plus or minus key, and this is my payment. That takes care of that. N is what we don't know. We do know what I is. Remember, I is 6%. Okay, so then we'll do uh, 6, which is I over Y. Right? Now we'll do the future value, actually. This is the future value. So this is 1890. And I need to do plus or minus again. And this is the future value. And what do I want to compute? I want to compute N. And then CPT N. Now what is this going to give you? If you do this, this gives you about uh, 16.99. So is my answer 17? No, no it is not. No, it is not, right? So, hence, to find n, this 16.99 represents this value, represents whatever is under the angle here. So, n minus 3 equals 16.99. So, n minus 3 equals 16.99, which means n equals about 20. So, 20 is my answer. And that takes care of the question. Tell me what you think. I hope that you use this. I always compute anything to do with the price of a bond. You can find any of these values in the bond equation uh, using the BA2+. So tell me what you think. Hope it was helpful.